Hey everybody, welcome to the Sky Lounge here to review some Lakers action as we win 123-113 to against the New Orleans Pelicans. And yes, this was the return of guys like Josh Hart, Brandon Ingram, and Lonzo Ball, former Lakers players. And yes, I am repping out the Big Baller brand sweater. Why the hell not? Got all my jerseys upstairs, but yeah, be looking over the pups right now. So, in this game, I felt as though the Lakers... Got off to a decent start. You know, typical story. A double-digit lead in halftime. You figure, oh, wow. AD's going off. We're going to have a good fucking time. And then the story of the third and fourth quarter, right? Just kind of casual defense. Letting guys go through. And credit to the Pelicans. Because they have some decent-ass players. And yes, the standings. And the win percentage may suggest that, you know, they're not all that great. But the Pelicans got talent. They got absolute talent all over that roster. And they know how to wound you. They do. I mean, J.J. Redick, when he gets open, swish, gets that right in. Brandon Ingram, like I said, this dude is going to be a perennial all-star moving forward. And I am nothing but ecstatic. For Brandon Ingram. Um, this is one of the guys where I was so high on and I was so distraught when him and Lonzo were moved. And I know people give a lot of shit to Lonzo, but I still think he's a fantastic point guard. He doesn't have to give you the points. He does everything else well. Rebounding, passing, um, fucking defense. And yeah, his free throws a little eh, but... When his shots are decent enough, forget about it. Lonzo is fantastic. So the Pelicans kept struggling to pull on through and maybe bring it close. But the Lakers just, they never really allowed it. And as much as I've been praising uh, the Pelicans, of course, you got also guys like Drew Holiday, Derek Favors doing immense, immense work. The Lakers are just better all around. And <clears throat> of course... You got to look at guys like AD who gave us 46 points, 13 rebounds, one assist, three steals, and one block. Yeah, that is some insane shit. And of course, you have LeBron James in the social media telling everybody through via posts like, yeah, you know, this is what we traded for. And of course, it's a bit of a sly comment. But the reality to me is the Lakers are a better team. And despite... Really, I mean, despite really the Pelicans trying to bring it close, the Lakers always had full control of this game. And one of the players I believe in the Lakers that deserve a massive shout in this game has to be Danny Green. 25 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals. An absolute unit when it came to just putting away the game. I mean, shooting 64% from the field, a 60% from 3-point line. I mean, this dude was the main reason why the Lakers won. That's my opinion. I, I know the AD argument will be there, 46 points. I mean, that's that's not just a small fucking number that we can just rush away. But if I have to pick the second guy who anchored this team to a win, it has to be Danny Green. Of course, my third guy has to be LeBron James. 17 points, 8 rebounds, 15 assists, 2 steals. LeBron James, as a point guard, has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, you watch this guy perform day in, day out, and you realize that, wow, this dude is just unbelievable. He's just turned 35, and he is playing like one of the top fucking point guards in the league. I mean, he's, he's leading the league in all assists, and this is why when you look at the efforts of the Pelicans, you never really worry. As a Lakers fan, you're watching this game and thinking, ah, okay, I mean, the Pelicans are going to give us a little bit of a trouble, but I just never felt the Lakers are going to lose this game. And call it arrogance. Call what you will. But the Lakers are able to get shit done. And thankfully, they get the win at home in this long, long homestand. And yes, the next game for the Lakers will be the Detroit Pistons. The relatively sinking Detroit Pistons. And so hopefully the Lakers can take care of business in Staples Center on Sunday. But... Other than that, I mean, there there are other things going on in the world of basketball, right? 
the fact that, man, I mean, th this team is going to get counted out a lot, this Lakers team, and with the emergence of all these other solid teams, Dallas, Miami, Milwaukee, it's going to raise the doubts even more. And the reason why, boys and girls, I'm going to keep this short and my attention span is not fully here. Um, we got playoff football going on. We got ice hockey going on. I also got to look out for my puppies right now. My other baby girl, not my baby boy. Uh, she just came back from the hospital. And so not my regular review setup, but make sure I need to keep an eye out on her and just a little, a little quick peek here. My little baby, she'll little tucker it out. So going to go ahead and end the review there, boys and girls. And I know all you fucking people want to get at me about goddamn attention to detail. Listen, motherfucker, just watch the goddamn highlights. What I'm here to give you is my insight and my observation on what the Lakers are going to do. Or what I think they're doing. So, kind of an honest, stupid ass opinion here. But why am I fucking why am I fucking elongating this shit? Why am I fucking dragging this shit as long as I could? I don't know. I'll just go ahead and end it there. Let's just end it there. So, boys and girls, follow me at Sky Lounge and all the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe for more daily contents for me and the puppies. Fuck off.